This is a demonstration of uh, Yaspel, yet another stack-based uh, programming language, or yet another stack-based language. And so basically, Yaspel, it's uh, it's a language that I created. Um, I was bored, so I decided to write an interpreter and a line parser for a language. And uh, this is the result. I'm not showing, or I'm not showing the source code because it contains some very embarrassing things, which is a uh, a simple lookup table with a linear complexity and a buggy line parser and some buggy functions, but I'll just show you a demonstration of the old, uh, the old program. And I don't think it even compiles anymore, but uh, yeah, here just. Or, why is he. Yo. Yeah. Anyways, so I just have. Um, yeah, that's just the parsing and calling thing, and then here's main. Pretty simple. Uh, just here's a few files, and uh, yeah. Anyways, so I'll demonstrate Yaspel. So it's a, so this basically drops you into a top-level prompt, and where we can evaluate expressions from. Valid Yaspel expressions, for example. I could do five plus five, comma, and that would five would get pushed on the stack, then plus would get pushed on the function stack, and then five would get pushed on the object stack, and then comma would push plus off the function stack and apply it to the object stack. For example, it could be equivalently expressed as 5 plus 5, and you see how there's two 5's on the object stack and a plus with a tilde, which denotes a built-in function on the on the function stack. And so comma basically is an operator, it's a special operator, it's one of the only special operators in Yaspel, and it pops off plus from the function stack and applies that function to the object stack. In this case, it adds two numbers. So you see 10, and drop drops the numbers. So, uh, yeah, there's another way to express this, though. You could also do 5, since it uses a comma to pop an operator off the plus stack. It doesn't matter what order we put it in, which is one of the strongest suits of Yesbo. So you could do 5, 5 plus, and still get the answer 10. I could do 5, 5 plus. So get the answer ten. Uh, yeah. So I also can express the same expression as using parentheses notation: five plus five, ten. Basically, the open parentheses marks is a marker, and the closing parentheses evaluates all objects, all function objects, up to that marker. For example, here's a more complex example: five plus or five times. 3 plus 2. Okay, so 5 times 3, you would think that this would evaluate to 17, because 5 times 3 is 15, plus 2 is 17. But in actuality, it evaluates to 25, because it uh, it keeps pushing objects off the stack. So, last on, first off. So since the plus was applied last, or was pushed onto the function stack last, it would get applied first. And we see that evaluates to 25. There's also support for uh, floating point, so divided by uh, 2.5, okay, pretty simple, and also arbitrary integer uh, notation, so that's an integer, and then I could uh, multiply and get that. It also supports strings. Hello world string. And it supports some logic operators. For example, f 5 and 3 pushes 1 off the stack. Uh, so I'll first demonstrate our variables, because that's probably the most basic thing. So let's say uh, you set 42, and I use the quoting operator the answer to life. So that basically sets the answer to life to 42. So if I type the answer to life, oh wait, the answer to, sorry, life, it evaluates to 42. And I could do this with an if statement. If the answer to life is greater than 5, which it is, uh, put the answer to life 
is great is greater than yeah, the answer to then put the answer to life on the stack. Oh well, I went over my. Uh, I actually have an 80 line input buffer, and apparently went over that or something. Oh wait, never mind. I do the answer to life is greater than five comma the answer to life. So the answer to life is greater than five. Then put the answer to life on the stack, and you see it works. Um, yeah. I also support a uh, function definition. So, for instance, let's uh, define is the operator. And we have brackets. You haven't seen this before, but brackets uh, basically they just delimit a block of code. So, uh, let's say we want to make a square function. So we do dupe, dupe duplicates, or er, dupe times two commas. This can also two commas. This also could be equivalently expressed as times dupe. I'll just do that. Square. So that defines a function called square that duplicate that basic the square's number. So I use square five twenty five, square six thirty six, square forty two, one thousand seven hundred and sixty four, and then I can use drop n to drop them off. Uh, and it also supports loops. So I could do four zero to ten, put hello on the stack. So this would basically put the string hello on the stack ten times. And you see that it does, and we can drop it with drop n. And, uh, yeah, so that's basically a demonstration of uh, the old version of uh, Yaspel. Not much to it, but just star, and the new version is going to be, and the version I'm working on right now is going to be a lot more full-featured. So, yeah, yeah. That's it.